This is the much anticipated base camp accessory for the Cybertruck and it's unique for many reasons. Inflatable tents have been around for a while, but never as a bed camper, and Tesla is the only current OEM to develop an original rooftop tent. It stores under the tonneau cover to preserve aerodynamics and it only weighs 90 pounds. We took the truck from San Francisco to Tahoe for a weekend ski trip. Packed away above the side rails and below the tonneau cover, the tent was small enough that it was out of the way of the rest of our gear. While it does cover the rear window, we can't see out the back anyway with the cover closed. Assembly is easy. Six clasps anchor it to the bed and there's a removable metal piece at the front of the vault. All the internal connecting components stay together so there's no fuss of doing small strap and connections. This small gray bag holds the pump, awning, and stakes. Once the cover was unclipped and unzipped, the panel floor folds out. The tent, mattress, and skeleton are all wrapped inside these panels. The inflatable skeleton uses a similar setup to a kiteboard pump and bladder. Pumping took about a minute for us to reach the required 8 psi, and then the tent sprang into place with the pressurized tubes. There were just a few adjustments left before the setup was complete, a couple clips to reach the top of the vehicle to provide tension against the skeleton, and two more clasps underneath the tailgate. The base camp consists of two layers, an external waterproof layer and an internal pocketed layer. This adds warmth, breathability, and privacy. There's loads of storage. Pockets line the sides and ceilings, and there's three windows and screen combinations, two on the top sides and one facing out the front. The inside is roomy enough, I can sit up and have room to get changed. For reference, I'm 6'3 and have about half an inch above my head and below my feet. This is a problem I have in all but the largest rooftop tents, so I typically sleep diagonally. Another great feature of the sleeping bed being above the truck bed is having a place to put your muddy shoes. I can get in and out of the bed while still having something dry, accessible, out of the tent, and off the ground. The pattern created by the inflatable skeleton is unique, and it's rigid enough to stand up to high winds. While it's stored, it blocks the view out the rear window, but it's the best, most compact space. It's not long like a hard shell rooftop tent, but it's also not difficult to set up like a soft-sided tent either. The inflatable skeleton offers the best usable interior volume with the smallest collapsed storage configuration. Reaching something out of the bed up near the cab is difficult, and I foresee bed tray setups being popular for this reason. At three grand, this is a comparatively priced tent to other high-end vehicle tents, and integrates perfectly. Because of how well it connects to the vehicle, setup and teardown is a little bit more involved than other rooftop tent designs. Unfortunately, it's not climate controlled through the rear of the cab. Maybe that'll be a future update. This is a great setup for overlanding, and I'm excited to see how it compares to third-party tents in the near future.